Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So Deep Dive is live for Spider-Man 2099 and uh, I'm going to be basically going over some of the screenshots that I took from the Deep Dive. I'm going to leave a link to the full video in the video description and I'm going to give you some of my first impressions and thoughts about the champion. So we're going to start off with this very telling screenshot, which is actually arguably pretty much the best thing against Spider-Man. Spider-Man 2099 cannot gain buffs whenever he would gain a buff. He instead pauses his personal debuffs for 5 seconds. Personal stun debuffs cannot be paused. And that is very cool. So basically, so far, we only had Red Guardian, unique champion in a game who never can gain a buff. And that is a very great amount of utility. Unfortunately, in case of Red Guardian, he just doesn't quite offer enough in a lot of cases for him to warrant be used like i really like red guardian i do think that there might come a time when he's like the best option and even in this week's summer of pain he was one of the best options but the problem with red guardian is his numbers don't quite add up and his base damage output is nowhere near good enough but he can have a real good damage output if ai behaves perfectly and when you start doubling up on your level 2 debuffs but the duration is just so short that it's really impractical to get it done in the majority of the fights. Other than that, Red Guardian would be a really good champion. He is a really good champion. He just needs a little bit of love in numbers, in my opinion, to kind of truly shine and show what he's capable of. And that's why as soon as I saw this, I thought it's amazing that we're going to have another champion that doesn't gain buffs. That automatically means stuff like... Um, EMP modification, stuff like Spite and the whole Mojos and uh, a whole bunch of champions, Dormammus and Man Things and whatever not. Cool, he hard counters them just like the Guardian does. But then obviously there is a question of rest of his kit because Red Guardian has this ability already. The question is whether he himself is going to be good enough and potent enough. And so while dodging backwards, Spider Man 2099 is not struck by attacks dodging an attack this way triggers his debuff pausing ability so basically he does not have to have dex active in order to be able to dex that's kind of take it or leave it gain 75 percent damage resistance if the opponent is under the effect of true strike or if the hit deals through damage now that could potentially make him very bulky in some scenarios but largely that is going to be more more often than not a defensive ability uh so there we go. So you can't really counter him with true strike opponents, which is like, you know, kind of common await counter. He also inflicts a rapture debuffs. He has 25% chance on every medium or light hit and to inflict a rapture on opponent that does very tiny amount of damage, but that's not entirely the point of it. And then also if you hit opponent's block, uh, as long as they are suffering from with the debuff, I believe, uh, you have 100% chance to inflict Rapture. That is also kind of like a bit of a confusing bit. So we can see that here he's inflicting the Raptures, and in this case, if opponent suffering from Wither debuff, which is uh, pretty much a new debuff we have seen Wither mentioned uh, in the last month's champion descriptions, and we also saw Wither mentioned in uh, Alliance War offensive tactic, but it never kind of came into play. So basically, Wither is kind of petrify but it only goes to power gain effects so it doesn't reverse regeneration it just reverses power gain ability power gain and uh, that is what we are capable of doing and uh, also if opponent hits zero power uh, in the fight against uh, spider-man 2099 you detonate the raptures or if you feel a bar of power you also detonate the raptures now your heavy attacks inflict exhaustion debuffs, which also lower opponent's ability power gain slightly about by about 15% or so. But uh, it's still kind of useful because you have access it, to it from the very beginning of the fight. And uh, in general, that is the second thing that this guy is good at. He is very good at manipulating opponent's ability power gain. The problem is that ability is kind of shit because we have petrify who does the same thing but better because it also reduces the region 
And, and unfortunately, exhaustion debuff in itself doesn't really do much. Wither debuff in itself doesn't really do much. It just reverses their ability power gain. Uh, Ruptures are going to be extremely weak. And other than that, there isn't too much happening on the champion. So his level 2 inflicts the Wither. That's cool. His level 1 kind of generates charges that are important for his core mechanic and pausing uh, debuffs for longer. And then we have level 2 also dealing physical burst damage uh, per each unique debuff on opponent. You typically can have about 4 if you went up to a level 3. Then you can have access to a slow, which in this case counts for 4 unique debuffs. But when it comes to slow, having it on level 3 is the worst place where you can have it. Because if you're going against the champion that frequently spams unstoppable, you need it before that. You need it in your level 1s so or on your heavy attacks on some other abilities. Level 2 for a slow debuff is barely functional. If you do not have slow anywhere else in the kit. If he had slow on a heavy attack as well for a few seconds and that could help you get by, that's fine. Slow on level 3 will not function as a slow. It, <laughs> it will not be used properly, properly as a slow debuff. And uh, now we have signature ability. Raptures have 80% chance to not be consumed when a burst of physical damage triggers. So that is a very cool, useful ability because you always want to have as many of them as possible. You keep pausing them and then you can increasingly detonate them for more and more damage. Also, a plus 25% combat power rate while the opponent's affected by Wither debuff. And that's nice. And that again kind of draws the similarity to Red Guardian, where. Red Guardian also has this increased combat power rate if opponents under effect of slow, and you can get it at level 1. So, unfortunately, here's going to be the best showcase, I believe. So this seems to be a rank 4 Spider-Man with class advantage. Rank 4 Spider-Man with class advantage. Very deep in the fight. We can see that there are 6 Rapture debuffs active. We can see that you have one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine unique debuffs for intent of his abilities. That's nine unique debuffs. That's pretty much as much unique debuffs as you're gonna have if you're not gonna be maining resonate. And from a rank four six star, it's gonna take Jagan now down from thirty percent health to seven percent health. So it does twenty three percent health. How much is twenty three percent health? It's barely above hundred k. From a rank 4, 6 star class advantage with a maximum ramp up, the damage special attack did barely over 100k. Eh? Now, obviously, I'm not gonna try and completely run the champ at all. But I will say that from what I see in deep dive, I am extremely worried. Because his only utility is quite weak. Because the only real good thing that he does is inflicts debuffs and reverses opponent's power rate, ability power gain. And half of good science champions do that. We have Void who can do that extremely well. We have Captain America Infinity War who does it sufficiently okay. Then we have uh, Mr. Fantastic who is excellent at it. Even She-Hulk does it easy. Pretty, well, She-Hulk does it almost as good. Level 2 and it, it's pretty much fully reversed with the Petrify. Damage seems to be weak. And yeah, I don't know. I am worried. I am worried that he is looking like yet another champion of 2021. That does a ton of things and very few of them actually matter. Exhaustion debuff by default is one of the shittiest debuffs in the game. <laughs> Wither debuff is discount petrify. Uh, Rapture is a tiny damage over time debuff and it really does not do all that much damage. The only upside is that pretty much nothing is immune to Rapture, but still it hardly does any damage. Slow is on level 3, barely accessible. And what else is there? Pretty much nothing else. Uh, yeah doesn't look good. He, he, he looks like he does a lot of pointless things. The only real kind of meta useful thing about him really does seem to be uh, the ability not to gain buffs. But 
from what I see, I genuinely think that Red Guardian is a better champion. And Red Guardian is not good enough to kind of like be at the very top of the game. Red Guardian is a very good champion to have, but he's not, you know, Void. He's not Torch. He's not Captain America Infinity War. I had very high hopes for him, but realistically, he isn't very used. So we can take a look at some synergies. And by the way, that damage showcase that was here with Juggernaut was with this synergy active that gives him extra critical rating per unique debuff. So he got nine times 85 extra critical rating. And it amounted for very, very, very little. Now, it might be that in the video, Master is not active or something like that, but it, it just looks very, very, very underwhelming, unfortunately. Uh, a lot of dancing about for absolutely nothing. Uh, synergies with long shot can kind of be useful. You can copy regeneration buffs. That's nice. Psylocke, who cares? Nobody plays Psylocke, really. Sabertooth, uh, you gain tiny regen buffs um, whenever you're blocking. That's kind of neat. Whoopsies. And then we have synergy with Spider-Man 2099. Uh, that's kind of nice. That's a light version of Quake Nick Fury synergy. Uh, so it's, I like that one. Getting unstoppable passive for one second after the weight triggers for Spider Heroes. That, that sounds more like defensive ability. Now with Venom and Carnage, uh, Special 3 inflicts a poison debuff dealing 85% of attack. That That's kind of nice because that's a ni new debuff, you know, and you can just procrastinate and, and you can pause it all the time. That's kind of nice. I do think that's okay synergy. Venom on heavy attack gain an aptitude, so more damage for Venom. And Carnage unblockable special attacks. Again, it's it's neat. And then we have AI enthusiasts. Second medium attacks have 25% chance to trigger Spider-Man's 2099 debuff pausing ability. Again, those debuffs really don't do anything until you get level 3. Low is fine, but getting to level 3 is not. Spider-Man Stark on a well-timed block, 33% chance to gain a Bulwark passive, granting 700% block proficiency. That is actually a very good synergy. I just wish it was like 50 or 60%, but uh, that is perfect for Stark Spidey uh, because that makes him tankier. Scarlet Witch, when granting a buff on herself, gain 15% of her bar of power. Uh, it's fine. Uh, sure, but again, Starky, Scarlet Witch, neither of them are available. Six stars as well, so they're not being actively used. And Iron Man, Iron Man actually gets a very cool buff. Uh, heavy attack inflicts power drain, removing 50% of opponent's current power over 5 seconds. And then it goes in 20 second cooldown. Now that is a really, really cool ability and nice synergy to have. Unfortunately, Iron Man needs a hell of a lot more <laughs> to do anything. So yeah, um, my initial thoughts about Spidey is uh, not looking good. Again, Obviously, a lot still remains to be seen. Maybe he's going to turn out to be amazing. But right now, as it stands, I just absolutely don't see it. What I see it is a ton of relatively useless debuffs, relatively quirky, tricky playstyle where you will want to alternate in between hitting opponent block on purpose and hitting them in order to be gaining power. Dropping level once to gain those charges because those charges otherwise are gained only when you get hit. That we can see there on, under the spider itself. Damage, even in ideal conditions, in an ideal setup, pales in comparison to vast majority of the champions uh, that are actually getting used these days. And uh, yeah, his only really notable utility is not gaining buffs. But we have a perfect example of Red Guardian where that is a great ability to have, and that is the thing that gives Red Guardian most of his value, but it's not enough in itself. So, yeah, there we go. Unfortunately, the initial look of Deep Dive, I will say that uh, I'm not overly excited for this guy. Sorry, guys. Let me know what you guys think, though. And again, link to the Deep Dive itself in the video description. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about